Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. So I got a brand new section on the Game Dexterity channel, and we're going to show you how simple it is to mod your Nintendo Wii using the soft mod method and also using the letter bomb method. And the beauty of this method, you don't even need an original game to even exploit the mod. It's awesome. So how do you get started? First thing is go to hackme.com, and then you can click on this link here for introducing introducing the letter bomb. And basically, this is a blog post that talks about the letter bomb and how it works and the files you need. But the bottom line is all you gotta need is a Nintendo Wii updated to System Menu 4.3. You need an SDHC card with some free space. You need your Wii's MAC address, and you can get that from your Wii options, Wii settings, internet, console information. There's a MAC address there that you can copy, and then of course you just need a few minutes of your time. So basically how it works is you click on please.hackme.com. Like I said, if you read the whole blog post, it sort of explains how to do this, but I'll also walk you through it here real quick. Here's the website, Letter Bomb. So, what you do here is you select your system menu, so I'm 4.3U. Here you type in your MAC address. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but just pretend that I did. Afterwards, click on Bundle to Hack Me Installer for me. Type in the capture codes, and then cut the red wire or cut the blue wire. It doesn't matter. You still get the same zip file. So here's the zip file. This is called the letterbomb.zip, and here's the contents of the zip file. And basically, all I want you to do is, here is my... Um, what do you call it? SD card. That already has all the stuff on here because I've been playing around. But basically, you literally click, like, drag this out of the zip file and put it into the root of your SD card. Now, I already did this before, so I'm just going to skip because I don't want to overwrite anything here. And I'm going to say don't copy for now. So here is my SD card. If you want to install the Homebrew channel, go make a folder called Apps, and then go into your Apps folder, and then extract the Homebrew browser into there. Now, I got a link in the More Info section. Just go to that link, and you can download the Homebrew browser. And then in my real video footage, I'll talk about how to use the Homebrew browser. And then you can download all these other applications from the internet. So I think that's about it. You got everything on your SD card. Put the SD card into your Wii and then turn on the Wii and then you're good to go. So with that said, let's jump straight into that portion of the video tutorial. Alright, so let's do this. So what I'm going to show you is living proof of how simple it is to mod your Nintendo Wii using the soft mod method. So here's my Wii down there and I already got my 4 gigabyte SD card already installed. So what I'm going to do is let me turn on the Nintendo Wii and get this party started today. Now just like we did earlier, I already had typed in the MAC address at the Letter Bomb website, so I already got a letter inside my mailbox. So let's show you guys. So now I already installed the Homebrew channel, but we'll get to that in a different tutorial. But for now, let's go to the mailbox here, the message board, and we'll go back to yesterday. And here is the letter bomb. So we run the letter bomb, and then it runs this DOS-like screen. So you just let it do its thing here. And then here we have this disclaimer saying that if you paid for the software, then you are a chump, and you should demand your money back immediately. So we just sort of wait here. I can't skip it until it prompts me to skip it using the number one button. So we just sit here and wait and wait and wait for a little bit. But once you mod your Wii, it's pretty awesome. So let's press 1 to continue. Here is the Hack Me Installer version 0 0.8. So what I'm going to do now is press continue. And then I go up to, it says install the homebrew channel. And you can also uninstall the homebrew channel if you ever desire. So let's press um, A. And then it says install the homebrew channel now. Press up to say yes. Continue. Press A. And now it's installing the homebrew channel. Continue. Success. Now, if you want to install Boot Me, you can do that too. So go ahead and click on Boot Me. And then if you want to prepare an SD card, you can do that first. Get that format and ready to go. And then you say install Boot Me as the iOS. Insert an SD card now. Press Yes to continue. And then it says Done. Uh, install the Boot Me iOS now. Say Yes, continue. And you're good to go. What's nice about the Boot Me is you can use that to back up your um, NAN flash memory so then in the in the future if you ever were to brick your Wii heaven forbid you can now restore it but if you go to the more info section I got more information there on how you can um, read more about the boot me program so let's click on exit and we're done so how do you know if everything's working correctly when you first install this you will have no applications here so I installed all these applications already 
And what I'm going to do is um, basically how you install an application is if you go to the more info section, and I'll probably talk about this when we go back to the desktop, you have to put the homebrew, or let me do this right now. So we go home and we go to exit the system menu. And then what you do here is you just go to the homebrew channel. So here it is by default, homebrew channel. And then we click on start. And you're good to go. So by like I said, by default, you have no applications on your screen here. So to install an application is pretty easy. We have to launch a homebrew browser like so and click on load. And we let us do this thing and it's automatically connecting to my wireless router right now in the background. So basically what's going to happen is in the background it's going to run through all different types of um, the internet and get download all the different types of uh, listening. So for example if I were to go to um, notice how on the bottom here it says checking icon 33 out of 486 so it's checking through all the different icons so I think I gotta let it load first before I can actually uh, install anything. Well, let me see here. So let's say I want to install the Virtual Boy emulator. So I click on the letter A, the A button, and I say click on download. And now it's gonna proceed to download 1.27 megabytes to my SD card. And then once it's installed, then I can exit out back to the main homebrew channel. And now I can run that new Wii Virtual Boy. So now here it is extracting three out of 10. So let it finish extracting. And once it's done with that, then we're good to go. Finally, so it's done extracting. So what we're going to do now is uh, let's press the home key and let's return. No, okay, let's reboot the Wii real quick here. So that's how you use that homebrew browser. It's pretty cool. You log online, download everything you need, no need to mess around with the internet. Go to the homebrew channel, click on start. And just for the skeptics out there, let me show you this the, the, the newly downloaded app I just got, the Wii Virtual Boy. So I press on this button, and here it is, Wii Virtual Boy. Press on load, and it's loading. And if I had any ROMs or anything like that, then I could play it off of the SD card or I can play it off the USB thumb drive or USB hard drive. So that is the tutorial in a nutshell. So with that said, let's go straight back to the desktop. So that is the tutorial in a nutshell. It seems too easy, right? But God damn it, it works great. And if in the future, if for whatever reason the website will die and the creators has assured us that they won't, but if it ever does, then they may create an offline or other alternate solution. We shall see. So basically bottom line is get an SD card download the letter bomb zip file to there uh, with extracted contents of course and then run it on the Nintendo Wii install your homebrew channel then um, get the homebrew browser use that to get all your different apps and then you're good to go in future tutorials I'll show you how to use the different applications how to boot games off of USB hard drives play DVD movies and more if you like this video please 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 like it favorite and subscribe so then we can hopefully get onto the front page of YouTube one of these days once again thank you for watching Take care. Bye.